Okay, so let's take a look at question number two here in unit four in your lesson one. We have an inequality and we're asked to solve for x. So one of the first things I'd like to do is just rewrite the, um, the expression where we have the x terms all on the left side because that's typically how we've been um, presented it before with the questions and it's one way that we find students or it's easier for students to understand how to solve it. So we're going to take this existing question and we're going to write it as 2x plus 7 is greater than or equal to 4. Now we haven't changed the meaning of the equation. We have just reversed the order in which we see the terms. Um, but the, uh, the inequality still should read that the, uh, the greater than side of it is, is facing with the x term. Okay, So just carefully look at that to convince yourself that we haven't changed anything in the equation. We've just rewritten it. So the second step that we need to do here is we need to um, collect all the numbers onto one side and leave the x terms on, on, on the left side. So we have a plus 7 that we have to get rid of. So we can simply get rid of that by subtracting 7 to both sides. Now a way to show that is to, we can just do a simple column um, subtraction here. So we have plus 7 minus 7. And whatever we do to one side, we have to do to the other. So we're going to have 4 and then minus 7. So if I work that out, I have 2x is greater than 4 minus 7 is going to give us negative 3. All right. Now our second step here is to remove the coefficient or the number in front of the variable term. So that is the number 2 in the 2x. So to do that, we simply divide by the number that's in front of the variable. So just often show it by just doing a simple division sign like that. That cancels that out and we're left with x is greater than negative 3 over 2 or negative um, 1 and 1 half. Now in this question we didn't have to flip the inequality sign because of the, the number that we divided by was positive. But in uh, other examples we'll go through, we'll look at what happens when we have a negative term in front of the x. And that's really the only thing that you have to watch when you're dealing with an inequality.